Hi, this is a quick tip on using the W3M browser in the console to view YouTube. Uh, one of the reasons you might want to do this is because you won't get any ads. So, for instance, um, I've searched on YouTube for the Sugar Hill Gang um, for this page here. So what I'm going to do now is switch over to W3M and show you what that looks like in the console. So. I'll run W3M with the dash B option which brings up my bookmarks and then switch to YouTube and the way this works is you come down and you scroll down onto this text field and then you press enter uh, you need to actually move your cursor into the text field and then press enter and type in what you're going to search for press return and then what you need to do is move up one um, this is using Vim key binding so J and K for up and down and press return um, press space once or twice and it's going to come down and you can see here um, this is the exact same page as this one um, so what I'm going to do now is switch across to the um, W3M config and um, show you some of the options that I'm going to use. Um, one thing um, I have done in W3M is actually turn off image support. Um, you can get images in the terminal in some terminals like URXVT but it's really flaky and when you scroll down the page half the images disappear so there's just no point using it. Um, but what I want to talk about is using an external browser with um, the W3M um, browser. So what this basically lets you do is you can be on a page or on a link and run a keyboard shortcut to send the URL to another program. And this could be, um, you know, like a standard browser like Firefox, or it could be a video player like MPV. And the reason why this is good is because um, MPV will play the video but without the adverts. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can actually um, use your own custom scripts with this. So you can actually take the URL, pass it into your own custom script and do some cool stuff with it which I'll show you. So first of all I'm going to switch back across to the um, terminal and um, the way this works is um, you have um, different external browsers defined like one, two, and what you do is, um, if I'm on a link here, if I press escape and then um, shift M, this will open the, um, the video with MP3. So I'll just quickly launch it and then quit it. So, um, you know, copyright reasons and all that sort of thing. So if I press escape um, and M, you see here, um, it comes up um, for a second and um, it actually launched the um, the video of MPV player and um, basically what happens with this is um, it's going to um, the program you've selected um, to pass the URL to is going to come to the foreground so um, unless you've set the uh, video or uh, the script to run in the background what will happen is um, you won't um, be able to use W3M while um, the video is playing um, so that's one thing that you can do. Um, I said, um, let me see if I can maybe come across to uh, one of my videos um, to show it actually um, um, launching a video and not have copyright issues. Um, let's see if I can search myself and. Okay. Uh, okay, you're pulling this with channel. Okay, picture in picture. So what I'm going to do here is launch this video I did recently, which is basically a script I created to um, do picture in picture with FFmpeg. So I'm going to press Escape, Shift M, and you can see here. Uh, hopefully, uh, in a second or two, it will actually launch the video. Um, and um, I'll just uh, fast forward through this uh, until I get to the interesting bit. Um, okay, there's the bit of code uh, and I've shifted right past it. Oh, you can see the picture in picture there. So I put that full screen, you can see the picture in picture effect um, there. So now when I quit 
um, as you see here, um, MPV um, is in the foreground and I can't interact with the W3M browser and that's because um, if I quit this and I come back to the config file, um, you can see here um, there's the path to MPV and the dash S is the actual URL and because um, it doesn't have an ampersand and and symbol at the end of the command it's not running in the background um, so what I'll move on to next is a custom script I wrote um, which I call pinch um, and basically what this will let me do is if I open another terminal um, what I'm going to do is open NC MPC and what that is is it's a um, client for the MPD uh, music player which is a program that um, you can install on Linux, um, Unix, Mac, I'm not sure about Windows and basically it's sort of like a server that just listens in the background and can play your music library or URLs that you give it um, and there's a, another program that comes with it called MPC um, which you can use on the command line to um, manipulate um, the database and what's playing and what playlists are currently playing in MPD. Um, so if I come back to um, uh, here, what I'm going to do is search for uh, the Sugar Hill Gang. Uh, I need to press search, uh, press shift, uh, space rather, and I'm going to come down here. And now what I'm going to do is um, the first external browser was MPV. The second one is a custom script. And um, so the way this works is what you need to do is you, you press a uh, the number of the external browser, then escape um, shift M. So in this case, I want to launch, launch the second external browser. So to do that, I'm going to press um, to escape M. And then if you notice what happens on the right side of the screen in a second. Yeah, that's now playing in MPD player. Um, so basically what I've done is um, use the external browser feature of W3M to grab the URL and with a bit of magic, um, send it to MPD player so that it actually uh, plays in the um, NC MPC um, client for MPD and the reason why this is uh, really good is because it means you don't have to have a browser open um, and the audio quality um, on MPD um, you can set it um, to uh, have various outputs um, whether it's pulse audio also on Linux uh, you can also set up um, ice cast output and stuff like that but um, the audio quality on MPD um, is really the best I've ever come across on any any uh, music player on any platform and so that's the reason I use it um, I can quit that there but um, the other program that you get installed with MPD is called MPC um, and this can be used to um, List what's um, in the MPD database. So, for example, uh, if I launch NC MPC and I come across to the browse section, uh, I've got a list of radio stations here, um, which are basically um, M3U files. Um, the MPD player, uh, if I just has a uh, playlist folder uh, where you can put your M3U files in. Now, um, when you're using NCMPC, um, one of the problems is when you scan in a load of music, these will actually all be listed at the bottom of the window. So it makes it very difficult um, with NCMPC to see the playlists. Um, there is another program called NCMPCPP, um, which doesn't have that issue but um, I found it sort of a bit crashed a few times on me um, and I didn't like it quite as much so what I'm going to do is show you how you can um, load um, a playlist um, 
using MPC. So first of all, what I'm going to do is MPC. Um, I think it's LS, yeah, it's LS playlists. And what that command does is it will just actually list the playlist files, I believe. Um, so what you next need to do is do MPC load and then the name of the playlist um, that you want to um, load. So for instance, maybe uh, LBC um, radio. Um, and then what you can do is actually MPC uh, play. And you can see across here, it's now playing that um, that radio station. And I can also stop it, MPC stop. Um, and also clear the playlist so MPC clear. So that's how you can use um, W3M um, as a browser with YouTube um, and also with the MPD music player.